Okay, it's the weekend, and uh, <laughs> nobody watches any videos at the weekend, so we're doing VTOL. Yay! The update has now gone live, which includes weather, time of day, and a million other things. Um, so without further ado, uh, this is a user-based mission that's already been done. Uh, so we will go to... Um, ooh, where are we going? No. Yes, as you can see, it's a bit misty out. That's what we wanted. Uh, let's give you 60. Oof, this is all uh, in-game editing suite, if you like. Me with an editing suite. My God. Let's just turn that off. Uh, so I can select what camera you're seeing. Um, so we've got battery on, APU on. We're in the green. Let's get them on. Let's turn all this on. This is all new, by the way. We'll have the, what will we have? We will have um, navigation computer. Um, as with VTOL, everything's hand controls, even these. Um, over here we will have, hmm, let's leave comms up, no, let's go, um, the choices, the choices people, uh, what will we have over here, we'll have a targeting computer and we'll turn it on, so we've got a little screen, and over here we'll have, um, Hmm. Let's have one of these new ones. No. Let's have. Huh. Huh. An ILS system, which this comes into uh, into play. But more on that later. We'll give that a go. Um, so RWR on, this is a bit of a rescue mission, um, that's on, that's on, that's on, I can see everything, um, dum, 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 dum. what do I want over here, let's go flaps to one, and let's go, tower this is Bravo 1-1, one, one. request takeoff over, I think I left that too long. Tower, this is Bravo 1-1, one, one. request takeoff over. Copy, taxi to <laughs> one way three five. Yeah. She's up there and over there, but I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm just going to go... Uh, I'm just going to go straight up. Because that's how we play. Navigation lights on. Formation lights, they're new. Strobes, external light. We'll have that on. Uh, instruments, yes. Cockpit. OTT? Not sure, let's turn that down a bit. Okay, let's drop my visor so now my hood is everywhere. Which is cool. Zoom out on the map. We want to be going on this track, so we'll just spin ourselves round. Take landing light down there. We've got to be up on the hood. Okay, let's uh, dip the nose, put the afterburners on, get some speed going. Autopilot Take the autopilot off with a hover and all the rest of it. Slowly tilt up. You can see top left of my uh, hood there, where it says tilt 62 tilting the jets forward okay speed is alive gear up flaps up drop the afterburners off so we are faced with a bit of a foggy day and mountains I'm not going to see much on here but up we go. We're looking for a downed aircraft. Well, we shall land. 
Altitude. And uh, pick them up. Altitude. Oh, come on, Betty, be quiet. So there is a few more things that's gone on there. Um, do don't laser designators. Oh, um, options for the clouds and um, anti-aliasing in the menu, and some other stuff. Okay, moving to the next entry point. Nine nautical miles over this way. As you can see, everything's lovely and rock solid. We're running the 1080 Ti, not having the problem at all. Altitude. Apart from altitude. Okay, this is quite a quick mission. And like I said, nobody watches Automobilist through the weekend, so I can put my Vito videos on. Haha. <laughs> Altitude. Altitude. So we did have quite a bit of this. You've got a uh, varying time of day as well. We had this on the um, beta um, for the past, I don't know, three, four weeks. So now it's been implemented into the game with some other stuff. Okay, last bit. Land out the site, six kilometres straight on. So what I'm going to do is drop my speed. To my engines. Okay, we are now essentially a glider. Our engines are pointed straight up. Altitude. Altitude. I'll give you an outside view, if I can. Um. Hello. No, I don't think this is going to work, is it? All right, you can have a fly along. Let's try that. Altitude. Altitude. Okay, my speed's down to Altitude. 200 knots. We are um, less than a nautical mile out, so I'm going to start bringing up my uh, jets on the outside, which you'll be able to see. Let's put it in hover and altitude mode. Bringing it to a stop. And the gears down. Okay, we are at the site now. Dropping down. Should be able to see things coming in there. Lost my telltale wherever he's gone. I think that's him. Right, there's my guys standing out there. You won't be able to see them. I'll swap cameras once we uh, once we land. I'm making a bit of a meal of this. Not to worry. Okay guys, coming in. Okay, we're down. Brake locks are on. Let me uh, bring you back inside. And let's just open the bay doors. Which is over here. <coughs> okay, these guys should come in now. Excuse me a second. <coughs> Come on guys, in you come. Okay, they're in. Let me bring you back in here. And get rid of this. Now then, what we can do, just let me shut the back doors. Our guys are in. Right, what we can do here now is if we bring up comms, air traffic control or ground, no. Air traffic control. Air base. Info. 
runway f one, uh, three five, runway one seven, ILS numbers. Right then, <laughs> let me try and remember how to do this. Let's get rid of the camera. I want to keep them open for the moment. So if we bring up the, it's all new instruments. So this is uh, we've got a set an ILS number here, which will come up on here, and we're going to run runway three five. So it's one one seven point five. One one seven point five, which goes up there. Yeah. And then enter. That changes. So with the poor visibility we can get on the runway. So without further ado, let's get up there. Okay then, so we're just gonna head back to the runway now. Spin it round. We are happy with this direction. Push the nose forwards. Autopilot disengaged. Pilot is off. Tilt now at 70%. Speed at 90. Speed at 100. Gear up. 145. Just turn Landing the brake. Gear. Brake locks Landing off. Gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. Okay, moving all the way forward. Altitude. Altitude. Now Altitude. Then. Altitude. Okay, Betty. Shush. So, off we go. Altitude. At a great pace. Altitude. 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 <sighs> Altitude. Altitude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Altitude. Every time I take my hand away. Altitude. Altitude. Better. Better for you. Cool. So the ILS. Um, so I know the direction of the runway is there and the distance, which is all there. Um, so over here we've got speed, ascent, descent. Now this one here obviously is the runway. Uh, which doubles as also the approach height which will become evident because altitude. I'm approaching it from the side um, it's not going to make much sense it just looks like a load of broken lines at the moment so the two runways runway th one, uh, 35 and 17 um, basically are the direction of approach on the compass heading If there were multiple runways then at the airbase, then we'd have multiple um, uh, runway, you know, three five runway, four seven, whatever. As you go. Okay, nautical miles out. Let's kill the afterburners. So all of those will pass over the runway and we'll hang a left this valley because I can see on the map here that we've got a bit of a valley there's the runway of the air base so I don't have to be too concerned about mountains what I have to be concerned about is I can't see very much in this fog okay so I'm starting to see it through the fog now there you go that's coming through it's that there I've got to drop these guys at the medic center which is that blue line over at the end of the runway so I'm going to come in from up here so we'll set up here you'll notice now my ILS is starting to change what I want to do is get this line and this line lined up the orange ones but obviously in the direction of the little white arrow I, it's behind me at the moment and I'm off to one side but I'm kind of running vertical with it and the yellow line is my approach height so it's telling me that uh, I'm way too high at the moment 
So I'm looking at my map. I've got these hills in front of me. I'm going to start making a turn now. I'll bring it round onto the runway. And I'm just watching my uh, indicators here. Bringing in a bit of brake, dropping it down. Right, I can just about see the runway in front of me. I've gone past. So I'll come back up. There is wind on here as well. So you'll see as I line up here, that orange line should intersect with the arrow and become one. To mean I am completely lined up. Okay, I'll just have one flaps here. We are really high, as indicated by the yellow line, and we were still off to the right so just come on here drop a load of height air brakes are on okay that's enough there speeds 183 the wind is pushing me off okay yellow lines coming up orange line is coming on I am going a little bit Wonky because of Bravo one one tower crosswind for takeoff at runway which three you can five. See. Bring it down. What I should have done is uh, yeah, there's always one, isn't there? There's always one. I should have put my run me um, undercarriage down. Rookie mistake. <laughs> I was too bothered to get my orange line to line up. I don't know. But anyway, as you can see, the wind is pushing me everywhere. So this orange line here, yeah, now indicates that we are on the runway because it's lined up. Um, what it doesn't tell me is that that was up. But it's such a smooth landing, I didn't blow the aircraft up, which is a bonus. Well, these guys will be after a refund. Let's just zoom in on here so I've got a GPS track to that first aid station. This wind is absolutely hammering me here. So I'm going to come off here. I never asked for a landing permission. That'd be me buying another round at the officer's mess, I suppose, when I get back. So this is kind of a user created mission, just kind of a simple collect, you know, fly here, collect these guys. Uh, and it changes the dynamic completely because it's a foggy day. Okay, so we are going to put them here with these guys. Put the brake locks on, open the back doors home uh, let's just have a look at objectives it's my guys going out fly back to the base I already am at the base my friend and we are complete everything done so yeah just with the implication of a little bit of fog now you can see the wind suck over there it's uh, yeah oh, a lot of side wind um, so just with the implication of fog, you can get people to stand on tents for some reason. Uh, but you can just create a mission just via that, if you like. Turn it all off. Why not? Right, thanks for watching. That was a quick one. I hope you enjoyed. Oh, sorry. Hoop. Good job I'm at the med centre, I think I might need it. Oosk. I'm getting dragged, I'm getting dragged. It is a very windy day. Oh yeah. Well that's something new. Ah. <laughs> Mother!